Hi everyone, welcome to JLD Academy and today we are going to learn about the tachometry. In that when the stop is normal, we are going to derive the horizontal distance formula as well as RL of point P. How to find out the RL of point P? First of all, I am going to tell you that we are also providing the notes in our description. You can also download our notes in the in the video description okay so let's start the class see this is the setup here our tachometry is level this is the stop here the stop is normal to the our line of sight this is our line of sight and this is the l is length of line of sight in the previous cases we have seen that when the stop is vertical and we have also derived the equation for length of line, line of sight when the stop is normal that the stop readings are normal stop readings okay let's see for calculating the horizontal distance here the capital D is equals to a plus small a plus small x small a is the due to the normality of our stop we are we are getting the horizontal distance of small a plus small x this x is due to the normality of the our stop the stop is slightly angled okay slightly it is not as correctly vertical it is normal to our line of sight it is normal to our line of sight okay let's see for calculating the horizontal distance a I have taken a triangle, this is the triangle, in this I want the what is the distance of small a that is cos theta is equals to a by l that is adjusted by hypotenuse, here for here I got that a is equals to l cos theta, what is the l, l is the length of line of sight uh, as we have derived the equation for length of line of sight in our early videos like previous videos in that L is equals to Ks plus C. In the previous video we have taken that S, uh, I have taken that S cos theta. Why S cos theta in that video the stuff is vertical but in this video the stuff is normal as like what I have assumed, uh, what I have assumed in the previous that is L is equals to basic assumption that is uh, when the stop is normal okay the line of sights are normal to our stop we have derived the formula as L is equals to Ks plus C as like that so in this setup also our line of sights are normal to our stop so that is L is equals to Ks plus C that cos theta is a cos theta in that we have derived the a but I want x the small distance what is the x for that suppose this is the vertical distance y this is the stuff intercepts okay what is that s2 or soft intercept this is our x distance I want x sin theta is equals to x by s2 that is opposite by hypotenuse I got x as s2 sin theta. So I am combining these equations. I have written that d is equals to a plus x, d is equals to ks plus c cos theta plus or minus s2 sin theta. This plus or minus shows that if the ground is in elevation, I have taken that plus. If the ground is in, okay, for finding out the RL of P, here is the formula. What is the formula? RL of height of instrument plus B minus Y. Y is S2 cos theta that is minus Y. Okay. In that if the ground is in depression we have to use negative sign. RL of height of instrument minus V minus this is Y. This is Y. So RL finding out RL is easy when you draw the figure. Okay, finding out RL is easy when you draw the figure. This is the RL of height of instrument plus B minus Y 
you get the RL of P. If the ground is in depression, you have to detect minus V minus Y. That Y is S2 cos theta. From this triangle, I have derived that Y is equal to S2 cos, cos theta is adjusted by hypotenuse. The stuff is normal. Here, the setup is stop is normal, stop is normal and the ground is in depression. Okay. I want to find out the horizontal distance between P and Q. For finding out the horizontal distance between P and Q, first we have to find out the A and we ha I have to subtract the small distance X. So, this is the D is equals to A minus X. Here A is k is plus c cos theta minus x is s2 sin theta. What we have derived in the video that is d is equals to a minus x k is plus c cos theta minus s2 sin theta. Here we are using a an analytical lens. Here the k is equals to 100 and c is equals to 0. Okay, we know that. And the readings of s1, s2 and s3 are given. And the RL of P is also given. This is the point P. And the theta is given as 12 degrees 30 minutes. Okay. So, when I have substituted these values, I got the D as 147.07 meters. Here the S is, S is S1 minus S3. Take it as positive. Okay. S1 minus S3 that D is equals to 147.07 meters. I have, I have found out the horizontal distance between P and Q. For finding out the RL, I have to know what is V and the what is Y. So that V is equals to L sin theta. Okay. From this. Okay. Sin theta is equals to opposite is V, hypotenuse is L. From this, what is the V? V is equals to L sin theta. And L is K plus C. By substituting these values, I got that V is equals to 32.68 meters. Okay, let's find out the RL. For finding out the RL, this is first begin from this point. I have no, known the RL of P is as 500 plus I know the height of the instrument as 1.5 meter. I have reached to the height of instrument level. Then, minus V, minus Y, I, I reach to the Q. Just I am writing this RL of Q is equal to RL of P plus 1.5 minus V2 or simple V minus S2 cos theta. Okay. From this triangle. This is Y. This is S2. Cos theta is. Okay. From this triangle S2 cos theta, y is equals to S2 cos theta. I am just substituting the S2 value, B value, RL of P I know, 500 and height of instrument as 1.5 meter. I got the value as, answer as 467.24. This is the RL of Q. Okay. This is how to solve the problem when the problem is given. Sometimes they give two angle of Depressions like this kind of setup. You have to do these like calculations again with the other theta. Okay, that theta is different, that S values are different. So you have to repeat this, this procedure only to the second setup. Thank you for watching the videos. If you have any queries, please post in a comment. Subscribe to the channel, share the video and do not forget to download the notes. Thank you for watching the video.